circumference called the depression range finder and uh, they, they were able to use that instrument to determine the position of the uh, rivals or the enemies, enemies coming and by doing this they would adhere to instructions from the plotting or the command post and the command post and the plotting room they didn't have any computers or laptops at the time they'd only work by tables to determine the position of the enemies and trigger off the alarm to the command post and like I said the, uh, s the uh, pedestal had supported the use of the, uh, the, the depression range finder and that way they were only determined they were able to determine the position of the enemies. I'm not saying they used it here during that time, but I'm telling you that's what they used way, way back during the war years. Mm -hmm. Understood? Mm -hmm. Okay, can we move on? Oh, I, I forgot to tell you. You came up through the drive through Okay, uh, when you came through the drive through you witnessed a trench through the first artillery. Mm -hmm. Then you came up the hill. Up here, you have the bay view, sea view, mountain view, and the uh, hill view. Okay, you can see your ship anchored in port there, and also you can view the uh, Novotel Hotel dormitory, and also you can see the silos in the background yeah. that represent the, the yellow ones represent the Chinese si uh, cement factory, and the, the white ones represent the Fiji industry factory. Is that understood? Mm -hmm. And also you can see a container yard that, served, uh, that operates as the William <coughs> Gosling container yard, and I can tell you that's the route you took up here to come up <coughs> to Milo Battery site. I believe Milo ba Battery site is one of the largest battery sites on Viti Levu. We have another battery site in Suva where the uh, official Prime Minister's residence is, and one at um, Momi in Nandi. I believe there they have a gun. I haven't been there, but my, my director will take me there soon. And also they have one in Lomo Lomo in Lotoka. Okay? Uh, okay, with those few words, um, is there any questions? Why did you list them the pedestals so of the Philippines for? I beg your pardon? Why did you list the pedestals so of the Philippines for? Why? You're asking what? me why? They did a lot of work here. See, they removed the gun, so obviously they removed the... Uh, the uh, the pedestal of its mounting. I don't know what they, they may, maybe they did it purposely for, because they knew that in future this place will become an exhibit area. <laughs> okay? Maybe they just couldn't lift me up the coins I had. Yeah, you can imagine the amount of manpower they had up here and the type of mechanism and the amount of transportation or what type of transportation they used up here. Where you got your bus parked on the front there, on the side, uh, <coughs> just by the office, on the front there, there's pillars there that supported the guard room and the uh, junior officers' mess. In military tradition, they never grouped the senior officers and junior officers together. And on the hillside, overlooking the bay, that's the senior officers' mess. All they have left there is one old haggard chimney. Okay? Mm -hmm. Up on the hill before you come down, that was originally the main entrance. Okay, the um, boundary line extends right to the shore. Okay, we've only come to... Uh, um, we haven't leased the place. I mean, what I'm, I'm talking about the museum. We've only come to uh, terms of agreement in uh, memorandum form in signing. Okay, we haven't gone to lease, but we're slowly getting there. Probably in one or two years' time, when you come back, there'll be a big national park here for you. Okay? So this is going to go, is it? This whole place will no, it'll be still here. No, it'll it'll be, be still here. Yeah, but those of you who want to come and use the beach for a picnic or bring your book and read, we intend to um, uh, make seats out of the uh, natural wood and put them on the different localities and uh, people can come and sit there and have their book. They can read. Or and the school kids out. can come and do their the school program here up here as well. I know the kids have come up here and they love it. And you'll be able to conserve it better too, won't we you? We can conserve it better. Okay. Anything else you want to say? Um, no. What size and range for the guns? Do you know? uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't explain. Uh, we're still getting f uh, flyers uh, done mm. and there'll be more thorough explanation in the, in the, in the flyers. It'll, uh, only then there'll be only, only able to determine the size and the range the gun was able to shoot out. Okay? Can we, can, can we continue? Yes. Thank you.
boys from the New Zealand Army with the aid of the Public Works Department. Okay, they helped uh, design and construct a place just before 1940. And uh, before they finished off here, the American Army <coughs> boys came down and they were the ones that finished off here. I had explained earlier that the, the, uh, the project alone was funded by the uh, Fiji Museum and the Embassy of the United States of America acknowledging their servicemen's participation here, okay? We're standing now right in front, inside, within the artillery. If you can look around you, you can see surrounding you the pillars that supported the covers for the gun. And also you can see in the, within the walls of the artillery the magazines that were there for uh, weapon and gunpowder holding. Also you can see a big steel cylindrical device uh, bolted or taken off the bolting to the, um, on the artillery. That was what helped prop up the gun, and the gun was leveled at the Silver Harbor. I thought I explained earlier, if you asked me if there were any rounds fired, I'd say no. If any rounds were fired, they would have been only testing rounds. Okay, do you agree? Okay, uh, this big steel cylindrical device is known as a pedestal. Okay, that is what helped prop up the gun. And also you can see the uh, balls in the, in the mounting. Okay, that would have determined the size of bullet cases they are used within the gun. And um, the, uh, the an artillery on the left and an artillery on the right and their functions or their performances were the same. Okay, within the, between the two artilleries you can see three more bunkers. Okay, those three more bunkers served as the um, command or plotting post. And if you can see in the... Uh, in one of the bunker rooms, you can see devices or steel devices in the wall that supported the weapon embankment. Also, you can see in the ceiling of the bunkers the air vents that supported the, uh, the uh, use of the uh, telescope and the binoculars. And also, it was purposely put there for lighting and ventilation. Understood? Yes. yes. Okay, as I speak, the site still does not have power supply and water supply. We still rely on rainfall for water, and I can tell you we've had absolutely dry weather.